this episode of Open SCAD by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I just have a simple one for you guys and more so to document this. So, what I've come up with is a generic flange creator. I had a situation at one of my rental homes where I needed to create a flange to cover up an opening for a vent pipe that was going to extend through the wall. So what I did is I whipped this guy up. Pretty simple. Uh, actually, I used the flange module for a, um, a flange that I did, a 2D flange I did for a CNC dust collection system about a year ago. And I just modified this actually to be three-dimensional, changing the um, uh, circles to cylinders as you can kind of see here so basically pretty straightforward and the way I worked it is I just kind of created sort of a manifold out of it so as we take a look over here the thickness here just kind of got folded back to the thickness here and so it just kind of wraps itself around mathematically uh, pretty straightforward now to create the bolt hole patterns I just reused the exact same code actually all this code is just simply reused making it three-dimensional from the 2D model that I created um, a year ago. So that's uh, what this is about. So I wanted to share this code with you guys. It'll be out on the Open SCAD site. The link will be down below. But what I also did with this is for those that you know aren't attuned to working with Open SCAD but yet want to create flanges, because again, I see this is a pretty handy little uh, tool for anything that you need to sort of cover up or create a seal because one of the things I'm printing this and we'll see it in a little bit is I printed this in TPU and uh, we'll take a look at that and go to the bench but, for, but before we do that I kind of want to show this to you in uh, uh, Thingiverse so I sent, put this up on Thingiverse so you can kind of see the actual printed object here and then if we go into um, customize you can see the uh, actual unit here the same thing here and I've got all this set up over here to be able to change the different values and be able to output um, you know the uh, flange is uh, 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 actual thing what do you call it thingiverse customizer or thing or anyways you guys get the idea the code will be I have a link down below to the code so if you need something or if you want to make some modifications because one of the modifications I am thinking about making is also allowing a cone um, result here so uh, maybe it starts out to be a two inch diameter and goes down to a one inch diameter or something if you guys think that's a good idea let me know down below I just think uh, for some sort of stacks or I might even go inverse to make stacks but I think it might make that a different customizer uh, so anyways uh, let's head over let's watch a time lapse of this being printed and then we'll meet back at the bench and take a look at the final product that this code created so let's see you over there Okay, welcome back. So we took a look at this being printed out. Uh, we printed this in TPU. Uh, came out rather well, so rather impressive. And I love using TPU for this type of application. And it works rather well. And, and the wearability is just fantastic. This stuff will not delaminate, or I haven't gotten it to. It really likes to stick to itself. So this is a handy piece of code. So uh, again, I'll have the link below uh, for it. I've also got this out on Thingiverse as a customizer. Um, so if you have friends that aren't into OpenSCAD, uh, they can go out and use the, thing, the customizer on Thingiverse and print this out. So anyways, hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. Hit me up in the comments below. And hey, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.